Good. Greetings, and welcome to the first, and perhaps, depending on the ratings, last annual Icons Got Talent. It has come to the attention of those, with very little sympathy, that they should develop a medium for people with special abilities to showcase their egos, for no reason I can imagine other than to submit this video to any future proceedings as Exhibit A. My name is Richard Begg, and I've worked with Icon for a few years now, and really at this point I consider this place to be an institution, because it has, to me at least, proven that not only can one lunatic be productive, when you get enough of us in a room, we can actually work together. Now don't get me wrong, I think we're all pretty civilized people, but it just takes one SR to send you over the edge. And I know this because you can't keep that SR to yourself. No. You have to let ten other people know about it. There's something about sharing your horrible experiences with other people that just makes you feel better, I think. At the mental hospital, they do the same thing at group, so you can see the connection here. Now, I personally enjoy working with my teammates, as I'm sure most of you pretend to do. Uh, we don't have a lot in common, but one thing we can agree on is it's too cold in this building. Those of you who sit by the windows or work in the CCO may not agree with me, but then again, you probably never had to blow dry your fingers off your keyboard. I'm sure there's a reason for this. Uh, they could be trying to preserve some of us. There might be a meat locker somewhere full of frozen former employees that they unthaw in case of a natural disaster. Not bad job security. But no, I think they keep it cold in here because outside, God is using our city for kindling. And whoever designed our parking lots in this city must have been an arsonist because they make sure that every single car gets burned. I mean, underground parking or level parking? No. All our cars have to be laid up flat under the sun like ants on a sidewalk, just waiting for that sadistic kid with the magnifying glass to show us why he hates his dad. follow in the footsteps of other comedians named Richard. Uh, just not their final footsteps. Uh, you know, Richard Jenny shot himself, Richard Lewis beat a crystal meth addiction, and Richard Pryor set himself on fire. So oh. do anything for a laugh, just not that. Uh, Richard Belzer's doing good. Richard Belzer starring in Law & Order SVU. Uh, not getting a lot of laughs on that show, and there's a reason why he always wears sunglasses. Yeah. I'm just going to take a drink right now. What comedians do? That way the rest of my act doesn't sound like Nick Nolte. Good actor, by the way, Nick Nolte. You should see him in uh, Three Fugitives with uh, Martin Short. It's a good movie. Pretty good. Well, I want to thank you for watching my nervous breakdown. I want to dedicate this to George Carlin and Bernie Mac. I'm sure them and Lenny Bruce have a lot to complain about up in heaven. And I also want you to please remember to always watch your kids around water, but ignore them around everything else. You can cut the film, Burn. Burn? Burn? Ah, great. I'm the one doing comedy, and he's the one that dies on his feet. I mean, how do you even do that? Never mind. You give someone a simple job to do, and they can't st stay alive long enough to do it. Oh, well. Uh, Burn's an old reference. I doubt anyone would remember who he is anyway. This isn't a problem, though. I think I can take care of this. I just need someone to help me clean this up. Clean. Clean. Cleaning. Cleaning lady. Lupe.